So hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. And yes, I've got the trusty scissors out just in case any of these coins and banknotes decide they want to be naughty. So today we are reviewing this Henry Lawson coin set. And I didn't introduce myself because I'm just very rude. So my name is uh, Glenn and I run GumaD, which is my own website and coin shop. So, but anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Henry Lawson. So, I only know this guy from the actual paper $10 banknote. Uh, no, not this one. They just swapped them Banjo Patterson. And when they'd done that, there was a bit of a hoo-ha. Why are you changing the person on the banknote? Uh, so, okay, I'm just going to, I've got the $10 banknote here somewhere. And okay, so uh, Henry Lawson ten dollar banknote. Yeah, oh, I've only got one which uh, my family drew over. Is he on the? Oh no, he's on the other side. So there you go. That's Mr. Henry Lawson. And obviously, you got some features of eighteen uh, hundreds Australia. So you got a horse and cart. And you've got some older style uh, structures that were built in the 1800s, which are pretty much just wood. So, he's, so that one is, uh, oh look, ah, Philip McKenzie. God, he's been, he passed away like 1991. He's been gone for like 30 years, uh, which is, yeah, it's really sad actually. I might keep that just to have a look. And also... Later on, uh, just in the future, after this video, I've got the new coin review, and that's a continuation of the coin and banknote. So that one is uh, July 22, and this one is uh, the recent one. So I will be looking and reviewing in that, because there's been quite a lot of changes between both of them. So anyway, let's get on with this uh, 50 cent coin review. So where did I purchase this? So I purchased this at Downies for uh, $22. And the postage was $12. So that's, what, $34. Uh, and it's cheaper than the $55 that they were initially issued for. And each of these individual coin packs actually was about $15 each. So <clears throat> basically, you buy, yeah, you're buying two of these coins for 30 bucks. So... This is quite a good bargain. Okay, he was Henry Lawson was born in Grenfell, New South Wales, in uh, 17th of June, 1867. He <clears throat> encouraged by his mother Louise, the Albany Lawson began writing verses and short stories, revealing in the later talent for narrative, uh, atmosphere, and humour. His best works, while the Billy Boyles, Joe Wilson, and the Mitchell sketches were outstanding and revolutionary. Despite the decline in his later years, he was given a state funeral in recognition of his gifts, achievements, and his importance as a great Australian writer. So obviously, he's a poet and writer, so that's why, he, I'm not so sure if he's a poet. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm not really into Australian literature. Not really. In actually, I like ancient Greek literature, which is actually very interesting. Okay, so it's made of recycled paper. Uh, nine free, so this is made in Australia. And you open the actual folder up, and these coin packs are just loosely included in the actual pack. So we have the edge of a plane. Obviously, a story on a, a plane. And can you take the actual coin out? Okay, so you can take the coin out. Uh, you can probably take it out of the actual case as well. So this one, okay. Well, the Billy Boyles. So this is what this story represents. Uh, most important stories. There are several short pieces in which Lawson called sketches, critics, Consider them fragmentary and not recognise that they would constitute revolutionary departure from 
conventional 19th century stories. Yeah, so basically what I see is that in literature, art as well, uh, also to science, basically anything, when there's something new coming out, like this is with the EVs at the moment, uh, there's a lot of critics that blah, 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 they attack it and say it's not good, it's not even going to work, it's blah, 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 blah. But a lot of the times, and this is what happened with plate tectonics, people were saying it's just a crap idea, it's not going to work. Uh, then they got enough evidence to back it up, or maybe the literature suddenly changes and people accept it. And this one uh, is obviously one of those, so it's a different literature that pretty much was revolutionary, although I don't know anything about it. And you know, 100 years, 150 years later, it's accepted. So this is a 50 cent, 14.09 grams, 31.51 millimeters. The aluminium bronze, so that means it's uh, aluminium, it's copper, and it's also tin, although I don't know the ratios. Uh, but it's probably like 92% copper, 8% aluminium, probably 2% tin. And circulating 40,000 and designers a ball. Yes, a ball design this because you know you don't want a frisbee design and any of this stuff. Okay, the edge of the plane and it's got scenes. So obviously you need to know what this story is telling uh, for you to understand what's depicted here. So obviously they got Billy, they're at a campsite and they're just enjoying the actual nightlife. And this is probably him with his family and him going away. So obviously he needed employment. And as you can see, it's the same size as a normal 50 cent coin. And on the back, we just have the 2022 obverse Queen Elizabeth II. So that is the first coin. I actually quite like him. And I think there's, there's another one for Banjo Patterson. So, I can't remember. So, if it's right, it should be this guy on the... Well, he's actually on the current $10 note. This is the previous one, pretty much. You don't see them any of those in circulation. Okay. Although, it's, I spent a $10 note today, so I can't show you. I'll wait. Yeah, no. I might have one here. Oh, yeah, I've got one here. There you go. So here you go. This is uh, Banjo Patterson. AA note. I spent an AA note today. I was in pretty poor condition. But we've uh, got 5 million of them. It's not worth keeping. Okay, the driver's wife. So a driver is someone who uh, herds cattle from one place to another. So I actually got stamps of this one, I think. So this one... Got a, okay, got a dog scaring away a snake and also the kid's trying to get rid of it. And the mum's going, no, it's too dangerous. Okay, the driver's life is one of his famous stories. The nameless heroine fights fire and flood, defends herself and her children against interlopers. And in the story, Central kills the snake, threatening them all. Lawson blatantly evokes... The underlying truth of a woman's desperate loneliness and slow, irresistible erosion of her hopes and dreams. Okay, so that's basically it. And we got information. A ball. I wonder if it's a tennis ball or a basketball. That's on that coin. 40,000. Okay, so here we have the actual coin. Uh, so the top part is the same. Is what's depicted on here and also at the bottom part looks like it has her when she's gotten older the draw that's when she's younger she had children when she's older so you've got flames on one side you have uh, floods on the other and there's it and it's a nice case does this open up uh, it looks like it it might pop open. Oh yeah, so it pops open. So don't do this at home, kitties. This is how you uh, can damage your coins. And as you can see, 
record a nice coin and it looks like it's a little bit damaged so if it's a little bit damaged then probably just send it back but anyway that, that's gonna I reckon they should issue 50 cent coins in aluminium bronze that would be great okay so there's that coin and then we have the last one which is the loaded dog so why's the dog got dynamite seems a bit weird I think the dog thinks it's having fun obviously this is a suicidal dog it uh, feels depressed in life and it's going well you treated me all bad I'm gonna take you all out with me okay so although he sought success as Ryder Lawson was thoroughly familiar with the hard physical work as a boy he labored on on the family select the selection S Erundery, so he worked on his farm. Later, there were stints as a builder, and in 1892-93, he carried a swag on a pushing trip. Oh, no, oh, on a punish. I can't read. I'm illiterate. On a punishing trip to Burke. Although he vowed to never to repeat the trip. It was a crucial in the development of his creative imagination. So a bit of hard, uh, a bit of a hard life doesn't hurt anyone. It makes him a bit stronger, more resilient. He met an optimistic prospector like Dave Regan and his mates, listened to their stories, and laughed with them as their plans went awry. So the plans didn't turn out like they wanted. It was Lawson's relaxed, ironic attention to detail that gave the loaded dog its wandering. <sighs> Growing attention as Andy's enthusiasm resulted in his courage, but a bomb. It was Lawson's consummate control of pace and climax that makes the story one of the most loved and admired. Actually, I've never heard of it. Maybe I'll, I'll read about it. Okay, so... And the actual coin depicts the same thing, so the dog with the dynamite. And it looks like the red of mine sight in the background. So, I've heard about Burke, so I'm not too sure what they actually mined up there. Uh, so, they'd actually use dynamite, put it in the rock to explode it out to remove it. Uh, they currently do that, usually with harder rock like basalts or granites and the back also depicting Queen Elizabeth II so anyway uh, what do I think about this coin so yeah it's actually quite nice uh, so each of these individual folders you'll be paying $15 so I think they still, still sell them for $15 uh, this whole set you generally retails for $55 but currently at Downies, if you go there, maybe the sale's over by the time you actually uh, watch this video. Uh, you can get them for 22 for now. So you can get them off eBay for 22 or their website. Uh, but it's actually quite nice. Let me know what you think. Have an awesome coin and bang that collecting time. Thank you and hooroo.